How's it going, everybody? X-Wing Sports here. And we're going to take a look at the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Arkansas Razorbacks. So this Arkansas team is coming off a loss to Ole Miss. And they played Ole Miss pretty close, which was surprising to me. I thought Ole Miss would probably handle them pretty easily but um they played Texas A&M pretty close and they played LSU pretty close and they lost to BYU which is their worst loss that they have the whole season but this Arkansas team isn't going to be a pushover I mean any game in the SEC West isn't going to be a pushover I think all of Alabama's games this year are going to be pretty close um because of their limited offense Speaking of offense, we're going to get to the rushing offense. Alabama is ranked 83 in the country in rush offense with 143 yards per game. Arkansas, thankfully, is even worse than us with ranked 112th in the nation with 111 yards per game rushing. Which this bodes pretty well because I don't think they're going to be able to run the ball very well against this Alabama defense because a rush defense is pretty good. Our rush defense ranks 23 in the country, allowing 105 yards per game. So if we can hold uh, Arkansas to 105 yards per game, or 105 yards, I think we'll have a pretty good chance of winning this game. Now our passing offense ranks 84 in the, net in the country with 216 yards per game. Arkansas are a little bit better than us, ranked 79 in the nation, 221 yards per game. So they got us there, but I don't think that's going to really contribute that much because their passing offense is not is just about as good as ours. Now our total offense ranks 86 in the nation. <sighs> that's pretty bad. Um, I remember a few years ago, I don't know if maybe if it was Bryce Young, but I mean our offense was pretty good last year, but it wasn't um, the year before. The year before with Mac Jones, I think we had like a top five offense. So going from the top five offense to... Uh, the 86th of the country is pretty alarming and uh, and it's reason why we lean on our defense a lot this year. Scoring offense, we rank 54. So that's a little bit of improvement, averaging 31 points per game. Southern Cal ranks uh, number one with 51 points per game, which they have no defense though. So Arkansas, who ranks 52 in the nation with 31 points per game, is pretty much the same as Alabama. But I think Alabama's gonna have more success on offense than Arkansas, considering Alabama's defense is so much better than Arkansas's. Like I mentioned before, the rush defense, Alabama ranks 23 in the country, Arkansas ranks 46 in the country. So they have a pretty decent um, rush defense as well. So passing defense, Alabama ranks 29th, and Arkansas ranks 51. So I think we're gonna be able to pass the ball pretty pretty well against Arkansas. They're no slouch, they have a pretty good defense, but I think we'll be able to do what we need to do against this team. Now our total defense, we rank 19th in the country. It's pretty decent. Um, from how our defense has been playing this year, I would expect us to be in the top 10, but um, there's a lot of factors in that. Um, you know, the Texas game, that is a big, um, if we didn't have that Texas game, we'd probably be in the top 10. But, um, you know, we had a bad game that day. But I think we'll be able to stop Arkansas's passing and defense or passing and uh, rushing attack in this game. And I don't think they're going to score more than 17 points, to be honest. Now, penalties. Alabama ranks 111 in penalties this year. We're pretty undisciplined, and I've been telling I've been telling everybody this for years, um, the past four or five years. We are so undisciplined, it's not even funny. It's like ridiculous how undisciplined this team is. But luckily, um, we're playing a team that's even more undisciplined than us because Arkansas is ranked 119th in the country in penalties, and that's surprising to me. I didn't think anybody was worse than Alabama. This is a crazy stat. Alabama is ranked number two in the nation in sacks with 22 sacks this season. Texas A&M is ranked number one, and we just played them, and they, they can get after the quarterback obviously pretty well. Arkansas, they're not too shabby either with ranked eighth in the nation, so we're gonna, go against, we're gonna be going against another great pass rush. Alabama has allowed 
23 sacks this season. That's ranks 120 in the nation. That's pretty bad. But luckily, Arkansas has allowed 26 sacks in the country, ranking 125th. So I think we're going to be able to get after the quarterback in this game. Um, a lot of those sacks are due to Jalen Milrow holding on to the ball too long and obviously KJ Jefferson holding the ball too long. These running quarterbacks, they just not very decisive. They're debating on whether they should throw the ball or run the ball. So I, I see both these quarterbacks doing the same thing in this game and allowing even more sacks. But Arkansas and Alabama are pretty similar in that aspect. I think these two teams are very, very similar, except for I think Alabama has more talent. So who do I think is going to win this game? I think Alabama is going to win this game, but it's going to be pretty close up until the second half, and Alabama is going to pull away. So I'm going to say the score will be 17 Arkansas and 35 Alabama. I think we're going to be able to get things going offensively. Jalen Milrow passing the ball. He's going to throw for a 250. And I think we're going to have a good rushing attack with Chase McClellan. He's going to have a 100-yard game, and we're going to pull away with a victory. And my Crimson Tide will move forward and will be gaining momentum. And I think Jalen Milrow is going to get better and better at making decisions and reading defenses. That's pretty much all I got, guys. Roll Tide and have a good day.